for joining me. Today I want to show you how easy it is to cover a square cake in fondant. It's a question I get all the time. People struggle with corners and even with round cakes, people will struggle with puckers at the bottom. So we're going to walk through all of that. It's really easy. So I already prepared my faux tear and my fondant. Here I just softened the edges of my faux tear with sandpaper and then made sure it's nice and clean, no little styrofoam pieces around. And then I just coated it with a very thin coat of shortening all the way down to the bottom edge of the faux tear. Okay, and my fondant, I went ahead and prepared this. I rolled it out on the home mat. Uh, we sell that here at Sweetwise, and it's really easy to know how big to roll out your fondant and how much you need. So I looked at my chart, and I see that I need two pounds, five ounces for the eight inch tier that I'm covering in square. And I've rolled that out to a 17 inch square. And that just gives me an extra inch to be able to work with it on the edge. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is take the top off and set that aside. I wanna make sure I don't crease it. We have a little bit more detail in another video on what the mat's all about. It's a food safe product, really easy to use. So I'm just going to hold this up here and lay my bottom edge against the back of the cake and then just lay it over. And the great thing about this is let's say I don't get it centered quite right, it's still stuck to the mat so I can just kind of release it. And if it's real cake, just kind of repair my buttercream. And I'm just going to Go ahead and lay it over just like that. Okay, easy way to release this. I'm just gonna get it started with my hand so that gravity is gonna do its thing. And we have a super polish on the inside of the mat. So what I'm gonna do is just turn this like this. I'm not gonna roll it up, but I'm gonna hold it taut and just let it kind of fall behind me. And then as I pull it taut, that super polish helps that fondant just release really, really easy. Love that, especially with big cakes. I can handle it myself without help from another person. Okay, now, I'm just going to kind of fluff the edge like it's a ballroom gown so that it just kind of has a little bit of an angle coming out. All I'm going to do here, I don't want to adhere the fondant to the cake all the way down one side and then move around. That's where you're going to get puckers from. What I like to do, no matter what shape your cake is, pretend it's round. So my rule of thumb is this. I'm going to use one hand to kind of keep fluffing that skirt and my other hand just to kind of work one inch down all the way around. And I don't do my corners first, I don't do my sides first, I just don't care what shape it is, I'm just gonna work one inch down all the way around. Just gently cupping my hand and helping it adhere to the cake. And once I got back to where I started, now I go two inches down all the way around. And the premise behind this is just like a round cake, instead of trying to get it all at once, what I'm doing is pushing my fondant down and out instead of around the cake where it's gonna have a lot I have to deal with in the back. So we're just pushing it down and out. Again, two inches down all the way around. And then making sure the corner's nice and secure, three inches down all the way around. And you'll notice I'm not using my fondant smoother yet. We don't want to have any harshness with the edge of the fondant smoother. So I'm just using the nice softness of my fingers. Okay, now that I'm a little more than three inches down all the way, I'm kind of getting round to where I want to get the bottom nice and straight. I'm gonna use the flat edge of my smoother. And I'm gonna use this just like I was using my hand before, just with a softness. So fluffing with my other hand, I'm just going to not force it, but a gentle, slow stretch all the way around. And I'll do it on the front side so you can see a little better here. Now here is where, let me show you an example. A lot of people have this problem with uh, round cakes too, where they'll have like a fold. And at this point, you're kind of so sick of working with the fondant. You know, oh, I'll just smooth it out later, but it really just never works. What I want you to do is kind of unfold that and pull it back out like that ball, ga ball gown shape that I was talking about before. And instead of pushing all the way down in one action, that's a quick stretch, it's gonna break. What I want you to do is just kind of back and forth, gently, slow stretch, walk it into the shape until you get down to that board, and that's the best way to get rid of a pucker, okay? And then you just continue to work all the way around Okay, doing the same thing in the back here, even though you can't see it, just wanna have a nice clean cut. 
All right, and then once you have it pretty much adhered to the cake, you want to go back around and just really secure it so it has a nice professional squareness to the bottom edge. Okay, nice and square. A lot of people like a sharper edge. In that case, you can use two fondant smoothers and kind of pull them towards each other, and that kind of accentuates a little bit of a sharper edge. Okay. So all the way done with that. Now I'm just going to grab my two-wheel fondant cutter. I always like a round blade, kind of at a 45-degree angle. All the way around. Back side two. Now, the rest of this you can just pull off. And if you're working with cake, now here I'm working with styrofoam, so I want to make sure there's no pieces in there. But if you're working with cake, and let's say you have a few crumbs, you'll just kind of cut those out, toss that away, and the rest of this is absolutely reusable. Okay? And then you're going to go back with your fondant smoother and just really make sure that everything is tight and secure. So see where I cut and that kind of pulled away? That's all I'm going to do is go back and make sure that's nice and adhered. Nice and smooth. And if you have any excess that you pull down, you can go back and cut that off. I'll do that here. I've got a little corner. It isn't as perfect as I want it, so I can just go back and cut that off. Okay, pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy with that. But you see how easy it is to cover a square cake and fondant. If you'll really just kind of pretend it's round, work down one inch at a time, give it some time stretching down and out rather than pushing around at the back. And I think you're going to have a really easy time with it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>